Good day, I am Mapul K. I'm a family student nurse from Davao Doctors College. And for today's preparing demonstration, I am going to perform the perineal flushing. But before proceeding to the procedure, let me explain first what is perineal flushing. So perineal flushing is a hygienic care that involves cleaning the perineum and genitalia. The purpose of this is to remove normal perineal secretion and odors. Also to promote client comfort and um, most important is to prevent infection or contamination from the rectum. So the indication of this type of care is patient in labor and postpartum, gynecological patients with perineal repair, comatose patient, diabetic patient, and patient with indwelling catheter. So now that I have discussed what is perineal flushing and the purpose and indication of this, so let's begin the procedure. So for the first step, Prepare all the needed materials such as the hand sanitizer or alcohol, clean gloves, container filled with sterile war warm water, um, seven dry cotton balls, and another seven cotton balls soaked in cleansing solution, kidney basin, forceps, bed pump, draw the draw sheet, maternity napkin or adult diaper, and lastly is the... Um, but blanket. So prepare all the needed materials ahead of time will save us time and effort and as part of the first step we must wash our hands as universal precaution. After washing our hands we are going now going to explain the treatment to the client and prior to this we are going to introduce ourselves and verify the client's identity using agency protocol and then explain to the client what you are going to do and why is it necessary. This is to let the patient understand the procedure and gain the patient's cooperation. So hello ma'am, I am Mapol, your student nurse from Davao Doctors College. May I know what is your name and birthday po? So, okay ma'am, so today we are going to do a perineal care which means I am going to clean your private part but let's assure that I only expose the part needs to be cleansed and no other people to be allowed inside unless you request um, have your partner or one of your family member. Is it okay ma'am? Okay ma'am, thank you. So, next, screen the patient um, lap and lock the door and cover the windows by closing the curtains if the room of the patient is crowded. This is to provide the patient's privacy at this part. I have already closed the door as well as the curtains. So before proceeding to the fourth step, we are going to sanitize our hands using a alcohol or hand sanitizer and then wear gloves as an infection control. So I am going to the patient in a dorsal recumbent or back lying position with the knees flexed and spread well apart and then put patient on bed pan. This is to provide comfort throughout the procedure and since our patient has a butt blanket, we are going to put a draw sheet as well as the bed pan to our patient. So ma'am, I am going to put the draw sheet um, under your buttox po ha? So now I am going to put the bed pan under your buttock spot. Next, the next step 
is drape the facial exposing only the part to be cleansed as minimum exposure lessen the embarrassment and helps to provide warmth so Mom L, I am now going to expose the part of the of the area that we need to be cleansed, okay? So so we assume that I've already exposed the part of your perineal area that we need to be cleansed. Thank you, Mom. So after exposing the perineal area of our patient, we're going to inspect the perineal first, then flush the perineal area with warm water and during the inspection, we are hope you know that particular areas of inflammation swelling, excessive discharge or secretion from the orifice and process of odor. Warm water is used to prevent chilling and soften or dissolve blood clots. So, mom, can you check the water if this is enough for you? Okay, mom, thank you. So, I will now flush your perineal area with warm sterile water. Oh, mom, huh? Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Next, get cotton balls soaked in a cleansing solution using pickup forceps. This is to maintain sterility. Cleanses external genitalia starting from the midline of symphysis, pubis, down to the anus. Never retrace a stroke. This is to prevent contamination of the area. So, this is the forceps. So, So, mom, I will now start cleansing your perineal area, huh? Discard. So, with the second cotton ball, cleanse starting from Mons pubis in figure of seven by way of the external labium forwards to the anus. Then, discard. The rationale for this is secretions that tend to collect around the labia minora facilitate bacterial growth. So, I will now start from the farthest labia minora. Then, after that is... Then discard. Do likewise on the opposite side with the next cotton ball. Next with the fourth cotton ball, cleanse starting from most pubis in figure of seven by way of internal labium towards to the anus. Then discard. Do likewise on the opposite side with the next cotton ball. Then this part. With another cotton ball, cleanse growing starting from the growing grow, growing going out to the to that time. Use another side of the same cotton ball for the near growing. Then, then discard. Since we are done cleaning the perineum, we will now flush the perineum thoroughly with sterile water. Since we are done cleaning the perineum, we will now flush perineum thoroughly with sterile warm water. Mom, I will not flush the perineal area, huh? So after flushing, use the dry cotton balls, dries the perineum with the same stroke as above by procedure 8 and 13. The rationale for this is moisture support the growth of many microorganisms. So I am using another forceps to this part of procedure. So this is not this is the another forceps. So
then discard then discard then discard of our patient, we are going to remove the bedpan gently and turn the patient to side. So, ma'am, I am going to remove the bedpan, ha? So, I am going to um, close or cover your perineal area, ma'am, ha? Okay, thank you, ma'am. So... So, ma'am, I'm going to cover na, ha? So, ma'am, you need to cross your right leg over your to your left leg as you turn on your side. This is to clean your buttocks. So, ma'am, I will assist you, ma'am, ha? Okay. One, two, three. So, I am using the same four steps that I used picking up with the cotton ball soap in a cleansing solution. So, I will clean the then discard. This is the another four steps to dry the botox. So, I will again clean the bottoms of our rotation. Now that I am done cleaning the bottoms of our patient, during also this process and after that, I am now going to remove the draw sheet of the patient. That then the draw sheet will. Go to the damp area. So, ma'am, you can now lay down again, ma'am. So, I will, I will remove your draw sheet, ha? Okay, I will assist you po. One, two, three. So, next for the stat 19 and 20, we are going to spray antiseptic as needed to promote healing. And put the perineal pod with an up-down motion as needed. This is to prevent contamination of vagina and rectum from the anal area. So, ma'am, is it okay to spray antiseptic, ma'am? Yes, ma'am, it's okay to decline, but I can I ask you if you're going to allow us to put some adult diaper behind you? Ah, okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Since our patient declined spraying the antiseptic to her, we must do request and going to put some adult diaper behind her buttocks. I am now going to put the diaper in an upside down motor. So, mom, I need to, to raise your hips up. Okay. One, two, three. Next, after care of the materials used, remove and discard gloves, perform hand hygiene. Um, so we are going to remove the gloves. Make sure not to touch the outer side of the gloves since it's already contaminated. Then put it uh, on the damp area after removing the gloves. We're going to sanitize again our hands to gather the spread of microorganisms. So I will remove. Then... Then discard. Then refer the treatment to the uh, treatment done patient and any unusual findings such as redness, uh, or skin, skin breakdown, discharge, or drainage, and may localize areas of tenderness for documentation purposes that 
procedure was done and means of communication. I am now done for my return demonstration. Again, I am Makul K.M. Kamal from BSN 2, 12 Day of Group 15. Thank you!